Let me go wash my hands. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Helen, also known as Avicare. So this is gonna be like a short chit chat. Um, I'm just gonna discuss the things that are go currently going on and just my opinions on some things. And yeah, we're just gonna jump right into it. So I wanna talk about the conspiracy currently going on about 5G towers. Um, if you're not living under a rock, you know what that is. So with the current circumstances that are going on, a lot of people are blaming the problem on 5G towers. And all I can say, this is both physically and biologically impossible like if you've been paying attention to the news or you know anything about science you know that it's impossible for the current viruses going around to be caused by the radiation from the 5g towers it's just impossible like there's just literally no relationship concerning the two i'm not saying that oh there's no problems at all with the 5g towers like you never know um but there's absolutely no relationship between the current circumstances that are going on and 5g towers like there's no there's no relationship there's no there's no problem and obviously with the people in this world like some people are taking it to different heights like some people are taking it to the next level like there's people burning down towers like there was literally one being burnt down the other week like it just doesn't make any sense and it's so crazy that people act on things that they don't know anything about so to the new compoops that were burning down the towers and just disobeying the law y'all are going to jail y'all are going to jail but being and truly, that's between you and God. Period! So next I want to talk about self-isolation. So I've been in self-isolation now for... Two hours later. For like 19 days now. I'm in the ghetto. People need to understand that staying at home does not equal going to see your friends. Like, that's what your phone is for. And to the people that are taking like five jogs a day, you know you didn't use to jog, so why jogging now? Like, I understand that you used to like probably staying indoors like I did, but now I've been told that you have to stay indoors, like, you wanna go a little crazy. Oh, you crazy! It's just not necessary. Stay at home means stay at home. And that's on period. Period! So I also wanna have a quick talk about social distancing. Really and truly, I don't understand what the problem is. Like, you know how people used to stand too close to you in the line when you're shopping? It's now by law that they have to stand away. Why are we not happy about that? <laughs> like, some people are now just being ignorant. Like, you're going now on the beach, you're going to the park, you're going to sunbathe. Like, we know it's been sunny. So when we finally limit our day-to-day -day interactions with other people, we will finally reduce the speed of the infection. You understand? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? If you go out, you are at more risk of catching the infection. Maybe not it affecting you, but it can affect the other person. And the other person may not be as strong as they think they are to fight off the infection. And that can result to very, very dangerous things. Like, I understand that... It's a pandemic. <laughs> at this point, it's basically natural selection. So if you go outside, you know what side you're on. Now, if you're in an African household, you already know about the fake WhatsApp messages that circulate. They have been circulating since like the 2000s. We've had poison rice to like our phones blowing up to Indomie to Indomie. But with the current pandemic, it's gotten a lot worse. People are spreading fake news. People are just spreading a lot of things that are just creating fear in different households. I feel like it's really important that you know your facts um, so you just don't believe everything that you're being sent because people share things without really understanding it, without researching upon it and you're just spreading fear, you're spreading fear and negativity because I know my mom has been receiving so many messages about the cure, about just things to do to prevent it and it's all just... So if you're sent something and you don't really understand it, research it. Like Google really exists. <laughs> Like, type whatever you were sent into Google and watch your eyes open up. Like, you finally realize how many lies are being spread. And most importantly, I feel like during this time, we really have to pray. Prayer is really the key. We just need to like rewind, take things slow, and just pray. And if you're anxious and in need of comfort, you just need to read Philippians 4 6 to 7. Do not be anxious in anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, 
present your request to God and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your mind in Jesus Christ so thank you guys for watching um like i said this was going to be a really short video if you guys have any other content you want me to film just let me know make sure to like comment and subscribe and make sure to follow me on all my socials they'll all be linked down below i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you next time